Hello everybody, it's Shannon. Maybe you've wondered, what is it like to be me? Maybe you haven't wondered that, but either way, today I'm gonna to share with you a little piece of my life, okay? I get some interesting messages on the Snapchat and Instagram, and sometimes I screenshot them because I just have to share them with you guys because they're so funny or so weird. Over the years, I've kind of saved up my favorite messages, and I use the term favorite very loosely. You could substitute that with like entertaining. And I mean, laughter is the best medicine, right? As is smashing the like button if you haven't done so already. And please subscribe, and comment, it's good for the YouTube algorithm. Have cool, love you guys. All right, so I'm gonna read through some of my favorite messages, and I'm gonna try to do it with a straight face. Here goes. Hi, I want to be your friend. You are a beautiful honey and I want to be your friend forever. I cannot see him, others a friend. What's your name? And I didn't reply, and then he said, Hello, Alamia. Alamia Lambriki is my uh, Snapchat name. Why do, you not, why do not you answer me? Sorry, I cannot follow up to you, and you do not answer me. Fuel eBay. What is fuel, I mean, maybe he's trying to say buy, or like fine buy, but he wrote fuel eBay, so okay. Uh, you look exactly like my ex British girlfriend. I really want to propose you for a serious relationship. I said before and I'm still waiting your answer. Okay, marriage proposals, I get quite a few of those. Like I stopped taking screenshots of those. This was like years ago, you know. This person said, uh, I am proposing to marriage. Would you accept it to go forward? That was trying to talk to you when I applied for your course last week, but I was shy. Okay, so you're doing my course just to Okay, never mind. Uh, and I said, I can't marry somebody I never met. Because he asked me a second time, Mwafaka Natuzao Wajwalala. It means, like, are you agree agreeable to get married or no? I don't believe in love at first sight because I fall in love with you every time I see you. And then he showed that um, my picture is his, uh, screen, his, his screen background. I really love you. Like, for a long time, I've been, like, talking to you, but you don't reply. I love Miss Shannon. Don't be mad at me. I'm just mad at politicians, not you. You are sweet and kind, and I love you, and I hope to be your husband soon. I love you peacefully. Uh, okay, so, and then, it is real feeling. I want be your dog. I was dog sitting for my neighbor in LA, and he has this really cute shih tzu, and for me in general, though, like when I play with dogs, I kind of like my voice kind of changes. I'm like, oh, hi, baby, you're so cute, you know, like that. And I guess that affected some of my, some, some viewers. So this one said, it is real feeling. I won't be your dog. Um, okay, hi, how are you? I hope you're doing good. I would love to ask what you think of what I wrote if you don't mind. And I'm sorry if it oh, took from your time, but I would appreciate if you tell me what you think of it. She's so indescribable with that smile, a classic lady with sexiest eyes. Her personality mixed with a beautiful features. Every gentleman would fight for that. Charm and humble and down to earth. She's like a rainbow drawing in the sky. It's not a story or even a movie. <laughs> so sweet. It's just how I feel when I see her beauty. Just the, you need the apostrophe when you said it's just how I feel. It, it apostrophe S, just like the line above it. That's really sweet. Again, can my dream happen and be your dog? How are you, Shannon? I hope you're doing well. I wanted to say something in my heart for a long time. Most of your followers knowing you for years, I am one of them since you was in college. I didn't even get Snapchat when I was in college. Anyway, can you believe that since you was in YouTube with one Saudi guy you know in college, something like that, I kind of forgot. But I felt that that I knowing you, kind of 50% or more, as most of us, okay, me, I would say loving your snaps, loving your style, the way that you're presenting yourself, and some English lessons. I don't know how to thank you and what to say. I do love watching your snaps. You are so beautiful, amazing, always shining. And I always saying, one, if one day I have chance to marry, I would have you. If I wasn't lucky, I wish a girl like you. Aw. But of course, I wish to have you, as we knew you, but you don't know me and knowing your followers and the reason behind this love. To you, it's simply you and the way you are. Big love and big respect from my heart to you always. Oh, that's really sweet. 
Okay, this person has a username, Toxic Luke, and he said, can we go on a date? You never know, you might be Mrs. Luke. Haha, <laughs> just kidding, sorry for being wired. Again, I want be your dog, please. Do you have boyfriend? And I didn't reply, and he said, you're bratty. Y-O-U apostrophe R-E. Uh, would you run away with me? Alhamdulillah, I wish God to be your husband. Ahabbak, which means like I love you. I hope to be a husband for you. Do you accept? And then I had done a snap, I guess, with my boyfriend at the time, and he said, I think he is going to propose to you. I am telling you. I said, why? I don't know. I see it in his eyes, and there's some chemistry between both of you. Well, about 10 days after that, we had broken up, so... How long does it take to make you accept my proposal for marriage? Hey cutie, I'm from Saudi. I want to learn how to flirt with a girl. You marred? I think he meant to say married. But he said, are you marred? <laughs> I hope not. This wonderful outfit is very beautiful. I loved you, Moon. So Moon in Arabic is like Yagamar is like a way of saying like, gorgeous, like Yagamar is like moon, because like, the moon is very beautiful, especially if you see it, like if you're in Dubai, like a full moon, um, it's, mashallah, it's beautiful. <sighs> you didn't have big boobs and you are thin, but you are the prettiest woman in my eyes. Okay. Uh, so lovely redhead. Why you are still single, you deserve the best man, lucky guy who will be your boyfriend. And this is an Instagram comment to one of my photos. You so beautiful, even when you think. Uh, all right, I'm sorry, I'm just so hard with this dress. And that's the one that kind of like, I was like, you know what, I need to make a, make a video just about these messages. All right, so I took an Instagram story right before I went to, to see a strip club for the first time, right? And somebody wrote, Wow, what a prostitute. And when I tell you that I need you to fuck, you reject me. You already a prostitute who wants to go to a strip club and whatever you want to do and do whatever you want to do. Then why are you rejecting ha having sex with me? So if somebody goes to a strip club, they're automatically a prostitute. Okay. Um, and then this is when like I uh, was getting my bed delivered here in Houston. Somebody said, as soon as the bed is delivered, tell me to come over and sleep with you. Okay, another Instagram message. I always get a boner when I see your photos. What should I do to prevent that? Can you help me, please? You look so beautiful. Can you please spit on me? You're really gorgeous, and I won't get enough of it. Okay, after uh, I, I put the election results um, in my Instagram, somebody said, I would like to sleep with you after this good news. And then this is like a snap I had put with my, my nephew. Somebody said, well, that's good. I really love you and would like to marry you. What do you think? Again, it's like somebody I've never met. Um, somebody wrote, fuck you, I love you. I want to kiss you. Want to lick your neck. I, okay, I put like a kind of inspirational quote in my Instagram, like start now, start with where you are, start with what you have, start, you know, just start where you are. I said, what are you, and I said, what are you starting? And somebody said, I started I love with you, honey. You are a piece of white chocolate. Somebody said to me in Arabic, Rabbi innak halwa. I, I, my God, you're beautiful. Thanks to your mom for the production of you, for producing you. Um, what else? Oh, I just spoke with my doctor about you. We have been working more than two years doing analyzing and laboratory examination of you. We find the results finally. You are pure sugar, and it's not like the earth sugar. So be honest and tell me, who are you? All right, uh, you should do more modeling, wallah. You know what they say about much girls, such girls. Kind, warm-hearted, caring, and down-to-earth. Likes to be active, they cute and they know it. Very touchy and kind of emotional as well. 
However, they might look very calm, innocent, but deep down, hidden, they are pretty crazy, wild, and somehow naughty. Copying Rose from Titanic? If so, then I want to be Jack. You are so beautiful. Also, your body is great. You put a spell on me. You are so freaking beautiful. I am following you not for the English app, which is amazing, but because of a huge crush that have lasted over two years now. I just can't imagine how such beauty have another 11 brother and sister who was made in same factory. Khalid from Saudi Arabia. And I was like, thank you. Um, I actually have 14 siblings, not 11. But um, thank you. <laughs> Police asked me if I saw an angel in my life. Should I tell them about you? Baby, I want to kiss you and hug you. Baby, I already fell in love with you. I just need to meet you in person. Can I be your Alexa? She turned blue over there. She's like, no. I put a picture of some sushi and somebody said, I wish I could feed your sweet mouth. Shannon, I want to marry you and I will pay a mahar of 100,000 American dollars. What do you think? So a mahar is a dowry, and that's something like, at least in Saudi, they, they pay, probably in Qatar as well, the, the UAE, I think they pay, they do that as well. I don't know about the other, like the Shami region, if they pay mahar, but it's like, yeah, the mahar is like the, the dowry. Why aren't you married yet? I mean, you're beautiful, what's stopping you? And then I, I, went, I took a fall and I, and I um, scraped my elbow, and uh, somebody said, Ooh, baby, what happened? Do you want me to nurse you? And then when I put it in my, um, somebody said, how are you? You are so beautiful. You speak Arabic. I want to marry you. I love you. And I'm like, I can't marry somebody I haven't met. And somebody said, I bet that you get at least two of these messages a day. F it. Just marry a rich one and then dump him. That's bad karma. I, I was actually doing a, wearing a dress and I did a, a snap and somebody said, baby, take off your shirt. You're better off without it. Baby, show, show us how to eat that with silverware. Okay, princess, I kiss my phone screen every selfie you take and I actually lick it sometime. You really encourage the naughtiness in me. And then I, I put a picture of a tree I saw in Houston, and I said, do you want to climb, yes or no, as like a pole. Somebody said, you are the tree. Your eyes are look like masterpiece. I think just looking for your beautiful face can be part of the treatment from depression. I'm happy to find you. I think vehicle insurance company will charge you because I lose the attention when I see your eyes and that will cause me accident. That's it for today. <laughs> there are some people who like, they'll see um, the comments that I'm getting and they'll be like, that's so weird, that's so strange, that's so effed up, you know, you should block these people, whatever. Like, I try to be understanding because I know that a lot of them, like where they were raised, it's like gender separate and they never really learn how to talk to women. Like all they know about dealing with the opposite sex is from movies and TV shows. Um, I mean, they're only raised, I guess, they could only like play with the opposite sex when they're kids and then when you become an adolescent it's like you kind of the way that society kind of starts to separate things based on separate you based on gender right i mean in saudi arabia at least um so i would chalk it up to that like maybe they just they don't know how to talk to women or um and, and a lot of them are using like google translate and as i've told you before this is why like we, we did an app and why I do like Arabic tattoo translations is because Google Translate's really not very good for Arabic and especially not for, um, at least not for like al like for colloquial dialects and things like that. So hopefully you guys found this interesting um, and we will see you next time. Thank you for watching.